Here at Harris's Ferry at Paxton, thank you for coming to my home once again. I am John Harris Jr., which is the Declaration of Independence approved on this day, 1776. And so we have been asked to do a public reading of this document throughout all of the colonies. And so as we have read documents on this front porch for many years, we bring this document to you to be read once again in front of all of you as those gathered here as inhabitants of Harris's Ferry and Paxton. So, let me read this document in Congress, July 4th, 1776. This is a declaration by the representatives of the United States of America in General Congress Assembled. Huzzah! When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinion of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these rights are life liberty and the pursuit of happiness here, here. is our separation and hold them as we hold the rest of mankind enemies in war in peace friends we therefore the representatives of the united states of america here, here. in general congress assembled appealing to the supreme judge of the world for the rectitude of our intentions do in the name and by authority of the good people of these colonies solemnly publish and declare that these united colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states Huzzah! that they are absolved from all allegiance to the British Crown and that all political connection between them and the state of Great Britain is and ought to be totally dissolved here, here. and that is free and independent states they have the full power to levy war conclude peace contract alliances establish commerce and do all other acts and things which independent states may and rightly do. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Signed by order, in behalf of the Congress, John Hancock, President. Our Declaration of Independence! Death to the tyrant! Three cheers for Congress! Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! We welcome all of you.